Hey, this is Joyce Klassen. I am your librarian here at Hillsborough High School. I want to step you through Borough Library's brand new website that was just created this year. Now on this website, I will constantly be adding new things that are relevant to you that will help you be the best student that you can be here at Hillsborough. You can see there's everything from all our databases to Office 365, catalog, and even how to just contact me to ask that specific question. I'm here to help you. The first thing I want to teach you is how to access the books because books are my favorite, hence me being a librarian. And that'll take you to the catalog. Now our catalog is a shared catalog with Nashville Public Libraries. We've combined our catalogs together with what books you'll find here at Hillsboro and what's available at all the Nashville branch libraries. When you are searching for a book, all you have to do is search by topic, by title, or by author. And in the catalog, it will locate what is available here and also what is available throughout Nashville. When you're trying to find that specific book here at school, all you need to do is switch over to the Hillsboro High tab. Once you're at the Hillsboro High tab, you also need to narrow it down on whether you want it to be an electronic book or an actual physical book. So if you click the book icon, it'll narrow it down to just the book you can pull off the shelf. And yes, we do have Miss Peregrine series available here at Hillsboro. It'll also show you if it's available or not. Now maybe there is a book that is not available here at Hillsboro, but is available at another branch. There is Limitless Libraries that is available to all Hillsboro students and actually all Metro Nashville Public students with the use of their student ID and their birthday as their PIN number. So you found your book. We don't have it here at Hillsboro. So you need to check it out through Limitless Libraries and have your book delivered. All you need to do is place a hold on the book and type in your student ID. Now for you, you would have a student ID. I'm using my employee ID because I'm a teacher and I have my own specific PIN. But if you are a student, your PIN number is your birth date in a four digit fashion. So let's say if your birthday was September 8th, you would need to put in 0908 and that would be your PIN. It's different for teachers, so there's no hacking of the librarian's account. Now, also remember that if you go to a actual branch and you want to check out a book, you can use your student ID uh, to check out books and all you need to do is enter in that PIN number again. Now, making sure that your pickup location is Hillsboro High School, it will come to our school in about three to four school days. It does take a little bit of time, sometimes longer, but usually between three and four days you should expect your book here and we will have that at Miss Bowling's desk in the library. Now there are other options for checking out books including Hoopla which is a digital streaming service and also uh, using Overdrive where it is a download ebook option and we will not be learning about those here today but anytime you're stuck in that situation don't hesitate to come by the library and either uh, Miss Bowling or myself can help you locate those and how to download those to your devices. I also want to share with you on how to locate your account so that you can renew items. All you need to do is click on your name up above and if you ever need to renew an item, you can see right here, you can renew individually. I just checked that one out, so it's kind of hard to renew. You can renew all, or you can select those specific ones that you need to renew. Back to borouglibrary.com, I also want to teach you electronic resources. Now I have some of our uh, most used ones listed here, but if you click on, go straight to the link, electronic resources, it'll take you to an access page for Symbaloo. 
Symbaloo is that um, that site where I have all the resources available. I also have links available. The Symbaloo site contains all these links. Now, while the pictures are loading, you can also scroll across and see that there's World Language, Science at Borough Library, and book books and different um, web pages that kind of help explain, like EasyBib. Uh, clicking on World Language, it'll take you to a s'more site that contains all the different types of databases that are available if you're studying world language, Spanish, French, Chinese, or something with, that's not even offered here, like German or Haitian or any language that you need help with. I have tools that can help you, like Transparent Language and PowerSpeak Language. They are available to you. And they have directions on how to access them. On this site, it also has different resource, uh, resources that are available and the usernames and passwords that can help you access them. They'll usually uh, work automatically here at Hillsboro, but once at home, you might need to have that username and password to help you log in. Most of our usernames and passwords are Hillsboro for the username and Hillsboro for the password, but there are a few that are different. Now, my favorite are listed right on the Borough Library page uh, past the Symbaloo site. That Symbaloo site's there just a kind of a catch-all for all those different resources and links that I advertise. TEL is probably the most useful site for all students here at Hillsboro. When using TEL, it's my suggestion to uh, search for your articles by going straight to the databases. Student resources and research and context are a great start, but if you have more specific resources that you're looking for, going straight to the all TEL databases is your best bet. Once you are there, you will be able to realize how uh, special this resource is because it's very specific between agricultural, medical, business, criminal, culinary, gender studies. There's so much available to you that can help you find specifically what you're researching, be it military intelligence databases to nursing and allied health, opposing points of view. There are great resources available to you that can really help in your research and find those unique articles that will support your argument in your research paper. For example, with opposing viewpoints, it's like a lot of our other databases that are available. We have one for biography and context, and a science in context, students in context. It has the same kind of uh, setup where you can search through here, and it'll give you not just one resource, but multiple resources. Another great feature with uh, Gale and Context databases, once you start typing in your uh, subject or your search item, it will start to auto-populate different subjects that are really popular at this point. Of course, National Anthem is a hot topic right now and definitely underlines that opposing viewpoints because they're different viewpoints. This helps you get an understanding of both sides of the viewpoints and as you can see, there's lots of images, magazines, audio clips, news articles, academic journals, even videos that are available to you to use to help support your research. All of these items are available to you and you can also uh, cite these sources. For example, if you want to use this article in your research, by clicking on the article, you can use the citation tools to the right to uh, send yours into an easy bib so you can have the correct citation whenever you are building your works cited page. Sending it to easy bib will help you in collecting all your citations and saving them in one place. EasyBib is a service available to us. There is a coupon code this year that I will teach in another segment whenever we're using, or you can always come by or email me in the contact bar on Borough Library to get access to that. Two more websites that I want to make sure you know how to access are Classroom Video on Demand and Biography in Context.
Classroom Video On Demand is right here. It is a streaming service. Classroom Video On Demand is another great resource that whenever you start to type your search, it'll start to auto-populate different options that might be useful in your research. Within this, you will find different video articles. Some are documentary films. Some are news articles that can help you in your research. Once you've found the video that you want to look at or use in your research, after clicking on the article, you have lots of options. Watching the video, you can learn a little bit more about your subject and might lead you to more discovery about the subject. And you can also switch over to show transcript. This can help whenever you're, you found something you're more interested in and you need to use for your paper. You can even copy out the direct quotes. Of course, you would copy and paste, take it into your research document, add those quotation marks, and cite your source. But what's neat is you can click on these words and it'll click straight into that part of the video into the transcript. It's just a really neat tool and it's great for helping you understand your subject a little more. And again, it also has that citation tool that helps you uh, save your citations. Biography and Context is that other resource that I want to make sure you know is available to you. This is a great resource when you are learning more, especially if you're doing a biography, biography report on anyone. Um, it's great in finding multiple resources. It's not just going to give you one, it's going to give you multiple resources. It also auto-populates, which is great because nobody knows how to spell Colin Kaepernick. Well, maybe some, but Ms. Klassen might need help. So you can find that name easily, and it'll give you some resources available to you, including those most recent, recent news articles um, going on about his stand on national anthem. So you can learn more about uh, both sides of the view and seeing some of the research on this issue. Back to BurrowLibrary.com, Office 365 is another tool that you need to know that you have access to. Office 365 is where you can access your Metro Nashville Public Schools student email your um, access to Microsoft Office, PowerPoint, Excel, and your own OneDrive that's available to you. Whenever you're logging in, you would use your username, whatever you use to log into the computer. When I log into the computer, it's a little different, but of course yours would be your first name followed by your first initial of your last name and the last five digits of your student ID. And mine is different where I just need to put at MNPS, but you would put mnpsk12.org. And then you would put your, of course, I don't have that k12.org because I'm a teacher, but as a student, you would put k12.org. And then your password, whatever you use when you're logging into the computers. Once you have logged into Office 365, you'll notice that you have many options. This little dice in the top left corner is really your help tool right here. And it'll show you the different things that you have avail available. You'll have your email, your calendar, news feeds, OneDrive is kind of like your Google Drive, Word, Excel, um, PowerPoint, different things that are available for you to use. Some of you may be more familiar with it. I just want to know that you do have access and that's by using your username at mnpsk12.org and your password to start setting up your Office 365 account. A few more things before we end. This news button is great. This is where I keep the announcements reels uh, live so if you are ever miss something or need to be reminded of something that was on announcements, I will have it linked on there for your availability. Also, college visits are available here. When you want to know what's uh, coming up, what's available, click on college visits and go ahead and make sure you reserve for different um, college visits that are coming. You need to click here and create an invite. This is open to all students at Hillsborough and their parents.
Last but not least, contact me if you ever have a question.